Here we go. Welcome to Tib Fury 2.0. Uh, I'll be working through and just uh, working through the gas station uh, here, just trying to really um, work the lighting, um, get the sharpness up, look at the details, things like this here. The, the gas prices had to be changed because it said dollar oh three, and there's no way you'd ever get that. a dollar oh three in New Zealand. Um, my dad created this pure gas brand, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, sounds very New Zealand, and um, stuff like these pylons are. Uh, very New Zealand as well. Um, I've been adding some features like if you uh, shoot at the truck it will catch on fire. Um, there's explosive, explosive stuff like that now. Um, these kind of features just scattered around so I've been going through and just creating stuff like this so that when you're firing everywhere you know um, there's all these cool little features happening. Just heaps of detail like that uh, which I think makes a big difference. Uh, to the immersion. Uh, I think the lighting and the the um, quality of the colouring and things like that is looking really good. Um, I've really been looking at Last of Us 2 and trying to trying to move in on their colour grading and um, stuff like that. I haven't quite got to uh, get the new zombies in. I'm hoping to have some new zombie models in by um, uh -huh. actually quite complex getting them uh, all rigged up because of all the rag dolls and AI controllers and stuff it's actually quite difficult I will get there it's just um, not the easiest thing you can't just model them basically unfortunately so right now I'm using um, the suppressed weapon so the zombies can't hear me um, which is which is quite handy but it is a single shot uh, just to try to get some balancing uh, on the weaponry this part here, as I kind of move through, uh, is going to be a little bit buggy, so I'm going to pull it out for packs. We'll probably get it tidied up for the main game, but uh, just for now. Gotta get out of here. Bit risky to run about packs. Um, these will actually be able to. The zombies will hear this and they'll move towards it, so you can kind of set up a trap. Um, This is how I'm um, sort of I've designed new way of laying out uh, collectible weapons. So in this instance, we're now moving from that version of the gun to uh, this version of the gun, which has a 40 mount round clip, is not suppressed, and is full auto with a holographic sight. Um, so people are going to be able to kind of have their own uh, pick and choose which secondary weapon they want, uh, which is just just quite cool. Um, sort of an easy way of giving them customization. Come on, baby. Ugh. Need to find some diesel. So, as you can see there, there's an explosion um, barrel. Another exploding barrel there. Just, just variation inside the game, and basically stuff that's positioned. So, as you're firing around, you're going to be hitting stuff, uh, setting off animations and stuff like that. Player will have to sort of head out here and find the gas. Uh, We'll take them a wee while, but it's not too hard. Perfect. This. Um, and as as they do, that will change up the music, get more tense as they lead up to the horde battle. Uh, the game's feeling really good, so it's um, playing really nice. Uh, the the gunplay is definitely um, the hero factor uh, in this in this game. Uh, Dead Fury just just feels so good when it's it's all go and the horde kicks in um, and here we go right now into the horde we go the game really picks up pace from here what the fuck are you doing man? jeez So 
the actual uh, game loop is hooked up to the. Um, oh, it's out now, it was. <laughs> um, still working on trying to get the, the balancing right so we have ammunition. Um, the right amount of ammunition. And this is actually going to release in basically an infinite horde, um, which is one of the cool features of this game. Um, play all the needing to disable both speakers. Uh, I'm still working on the gameplay, struggling to help them know that and how to get there, but at the moment it's uh, rudimentary there. Basically, I've got these lights set up so that you can tell that there's something here. But now that's disabled the spawn mechanic to stop the zombies spawning, uh, otherwise they'll just keep spawning uh, basically. Pretty careful with the uh, grenade launcher, it will kill you <laughs> if you're too close. Um, won't show any mercy. That's pretty satisfying. And there we have it. Uh, and then from there, um, it should kick off a uh, congratulations, mission accomplished, um, music will wind down and it will move into a, um, a narrative section um, and players sort of free to just go around and collect up any extra ammunition that they need because it does stay with them. Um, and. Uh, Diesel. Yeah. So, so yeah, it's all um, it's all working pretty good. It's looking pretty good for packs. I mean, this is probably going to be the hero level for for packs, I believe. Um, the uh, should have a couple of other stages as well, um, as well as a base camp stage that people will be able to just kind of just cruise around and get a feel for the controls. You know, even if they've never played a game like this before, they'll be fine. Uh, but this this game, this level should sort of challenge. Um, the mid-range players, and then we'll have the arcade, uh, the arcade level to, to really push the extreme players who want to um, go for full glory. Uh, so yeah, yeah. But overall, looking pretty good. Um, it's feeling good. It's playing good. Uh, seeming nice and stable. Um, yeah, yeah. Feeling good. <laughs>